Hi kids, it's Mrs. Jardins and I'm back for a read aloud. This book is called Guacamole. Hmm, what is guacamole? Well, let's find out. First, remember our title is guacamole. We have two names here. It says Jorge Arjueta, Margarita Sada. So those are the authors. Down the bottom, it says a cooking poem. Hmm. Now remember, this is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. So let's read, find out about guacamole. Today, I am going to make you guacamole, I say to my mother and father and my little brother and sister. They stare at me with their big eyes that remind me of the green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. That looks like an avocado. To make a delicious guacamole that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more, you need four big avocados, like green precious stones and two fresh limes, big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You need some cilantro leaves, green as a four-leaf clover. You need salt, and that's all. First, put on your chef's apron. I always put one on when I cook, keeps your clothes clean. Mine has balloons on it. With my apron and its balloons and little bird, I feel like a great chef. And I am one, and I am one, as I sing and dance around the kitchen. Guacamole is so easy to make. Well, let's see. Then I get my favorite dish. It's decorated with a garland of little red flowers and green leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish with its little flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. The avocados are waiting for me, so big and green and beautiful. I squeeze them gently with my hands and can tell that they are soft and ripe with their shiny, tender skin like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in the fountain of the sink and then dancing and singing, I put them on the red kitchen table. Now it's time to cut the avocados one by one, very slowly cut them in half. That's what they look like cut in half. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a little ball round as a small world. It's smooth and slippery like a slide. If you grab this pit too hard, it will slip. If you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't throw the pits out. They are the seeds from which avocado trees are born. See? Pit. Take a spoon, not too big. Not too small. The spoon is like a tractor that you will use to scrape the avocado flesh. Scoop out all the tender flesh of all four avocados. Put the green avocado flesh in your dish. The empty avocado skins look like wash bowls. Don't throw them out. Set them aside with the pits. Hmm, what are we going to do with those? Now add salt, not too much. Sing to the salt as you shake it so that little spatters of white drizzle fall like rain on the green avocado. Salty, salty salt from my salt shaker. Salt goes in first. Now with your tractor spoon, stir up the green avocado flesh. Move your spoon up and down. The avocado is getting softer. It's becoming guacamole. Take a little branch of cilantro and wash it in the fountain of your sink. It looks like a little tree. Wash it well, shake it off, and sprinkle water around the kitchen. 
Tear the leaves off your tree one by one and add them to the avocado. Mmm, cilantro smells so good. Mmm, such a fresh, such a green smell. It's very strong. Now, take the limes, which are also green and perfectly round. Take them over to bathe in the kitchen fountain. Cut the limes in half. Now that's what a lime looks like is cut in half. I don't know if you can see this, but there's one cut up because I love it in my Dr. Pepper or Diet Coke. So after you cut the limes in half carefully one by one, you're going to squeeze them with your hands over the avocado, avocado waiting in the dish. Or waiting in its dish. So soft, such a fresh smell, such a greeny green smell. Their sour little lime smell makes my mouth water. Limes are sweet compared to lemons. There they are. The lime peel is soft and juicy juice comes out. Don't get it in your eyes. It stings. The juice that comes like tears from the limes. Ooh, the sour river of limes smells so good as it falls on the greeny green of the avocado. I laugh. I laugh river laughs. I laugh green laughs. I laugh lime laughs. I laugh guacamole laughs. Little pearls that look like eyes will fall from your hands. They are the lime seeds. Pick out the little pearls that fall into the avocado with your fingers. Don't throw them away. Lime trees could grow from them. Don't throw the peels out either. In your hands, they feel like balls whose air is leaked out. Put them with the seeds and the avocado skins. Stir everything together again, up and down with your tractor spoon. Stir it well, taste it, sprinkle on some more salt. Stir and stir around and around. Sing and dance, because food tastes better when you sing and dance. Yummy, what yummy guacamole. That's what it looks like. Now everything is green and juicy and it's dished with red flowers and green leaves like hearts. Now the guacamole is ready. Before you sit down to eat, take all the seeds and skins and peels into the garden. Plant them in Mother Earth so that more avocados will grow, more lime trees, more colors, more flavors. Now the time has come to call your mother and father and your little brother and sister to heat up the beans and tortillas and to sit down and enjoy the guacamole that tastes so fresh. Yummy guacamole, so greeny green, as pure as love. Well, I hope you enjoyed that today. And if you like guacamole, you can use the recipe and make some. You just need what she told you to get. Some salt, some avocados, some limes. That's about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.